This is a very big package of gratitude being delivered to you guys. Uh, I'm always saying thank you for something, but, but truly I'm very grateful today. So thank you uh, on this beautiful Sunday here in Hawaii where I'm working. Um, I'm, here, I'll show you guys. You're like, damn, Rock, don't tease us. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Hawaii, a place where I was raised. A lot of defining moments here on this island for me. Um, anyway, uh, speaking of defining moments, we had a defining moment at the box office this weekend where we launched a movie that I helped produce called Shazam. And you guys have made it a, a really big success around the world. The box office success is very healthy and robust. And I want to say thank you guys so, so much for making us number one. Um, and uh, I want to, it's great that the critics love the movie. It's awesome. We're at 92 or 93 percent on Rotten Tomatoes, which again is always awesome uh, that everybody is loving the movies. But the best part about Shazam is the audience's reactions and scores. You, the audience, the people have given us A's across the board around the world. Now, I always say I got one boss, and that's you, the people, the audience. And um, my main objective, myself and Seven Bucks Productions, is always to think audience first and make sure that you guys are thoroughly entertained. And you are, you were, um, and uh, and again, couldn't be more grateful and very, very happy about that. It's very gratifying. Um, you know, this project Shazam, we had uh, some challenges and we took a risk. And that risk is, as we were developing this a few years ago, um, the, the challenges and the struggles that, that we were having and that was gnawing at my gut um, is that we were trying to tell two origin stories in one script. So for those who know the comic books and the mythology of the comics of Shazam knows that Shazam is connected to Black Adam. Black Adam is an anti-hero or villain who I cannot wait to play. I've been developing this and it's been with me in my DNA for over 10 years now. Uh, we should start shooting that in about a year very excited about that but anyway the challenges were uh, as you guys can imagine you're trying to tell two very big origin stories in the world of comic books of this DC universe two very important uh, characters trying to tell their both both their origin stories in one script uh, I didn't think it was working uh, finally I called up Warner Brothers Toby Emmerich my good buddy who runs Warner Brothers and I said brother we have to split these stories and make two different movies. He said, you know what? It is a great idea and let's do it. So we rolled the dice and, um, cause you never know with these things, you know? And I, I did feel in my gut that, that out of respect to both origin stories and those who know the mythology and the backstories of Shazam and Black Adam know that they are vastly different backstories. Um, so again, we rolled the dice, here we are and uh, it's, it's a big success, and I couldn't be happier for our star, Zach, uh, Levi, and, and the Shazam filmmakers, and, and Warner Brothers, and, and most importantly, you guys out there watching the movie and, and loving the movie. So thank you guys. If you haven't seen Shazam, go out, check it out. You're gonna love it. It is a big, fun, uh, very well-crafted, very well-done um, family movie that at its core, has has this this right here not my sternum or my pecs but it, <laughs> it has it has great heart and heart is our anchor and uh can't wait for you guys to see it i can't wait to play black adam um because they're all getting their ass kicked when i play black, <laughs> with black adam that day of reckoning is coming for everyone uh anyway guys thank you again and zach our star congratulations buddy you did it very happy, very proud. And um, everybody around the world, thank you again and, uh, and enjoy Shazam. Hey everybody, it's Charlie. Do you smell the Black Adam movie that The Rock is cooking? He just totally threw the gauntlet down. They are all getting their asses kicked when I play Black Adam. So I'll explain what's going on with the Black Adam movie, what he's saying here about when production is going to start and what that movie is going to be like versus the Shazam sequels because they also just greenlit the Shazam sequel. It's going to be written by the person that wrote the first Shazam movie. Like, you did a good job on the first one. Everybody liked that story. Just come back and do the next one.
We're still doing that big IMAX ticket giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment about Black Adam or Shazam on the video. So as The Rock is saying, he was a producer on the Shazam movie, if you guys didn't notice, through his Seven Bucks production company, which was surprising because it sounds like, based on what he was saying, is they originally wanted to do a version of their origin story where you do Black Adam and Shazam in the same movie, which would have been a more faithful adaptation of the Jeff Johns New 52 Shazam origin story. They rebooted Shazam during the New 52, but while they were telling his story, they also gave you little snippets of Black Adam's backstory, which is a couple of similar moments that you see during the Shazam Shazam movie so I'll say careful for spoilers if you have not seen the Shazam movie because we'll be talking about very specific stuff and a very specific Black Adam moment. In the Shazam movie there's a moment where you get the Shazamly, the Shazam family all getting their powers. He says grab the staff and say the thing that I say to activate my powers. So they all say the word Shazam, he opens up his heart to them and gives them a portion of his power becoming the Shazam family from the comics. The idea of the family that you make for yourself versus the family that you're born with is very core to the film. But during the New 52 comic book version of his origin story, Black Adam is an adult already. It's actually one of his nephews, it's his relative, that goes to the Rock of Eternity and asks for the power to help his family. The wizard Shazam and the Magical Council grant him that power, so the little boy comes back to his uncle, Black Adam, and says, We have the power now. I'll share it with you. We could be a family. It's just like the Shazam family with Billy. I'll share this power with you. Except it gets really, really dark. Black Adam accepts the power, then takes the rest of it from this little kid. It's not like he's killing his son, but he kills a very close family member. So it just starts Black Adam on the very familiar path to wanting to take all the power for himself. Give me your power, which you saw a little bit of during the Shazam movie through the Dr. Savannah character. Though he gets most of his power from the Seven Deadly Sins, he still tries to take the power of the wizard Shazam from Billy. Give me your power. So as The Rock says, when they were trying to develop that version of the Shazam movie, they're like, this is just way too different. These origin stories, one is way too dark. This one is way too light. We have to separate this into two different movies. Apparently, he had to run that by the people at DC, which lets you know that originally it wasn't DC's idea to do things this way, which I think is interesting. But that sort of explains why you heard about The Rock being cast as Black Adam years ago. It's been 84 years since The Rock was cast as Black Adam, but we still haven't seen the Black Adam movie. But that's why, because they wanted to break the movies up, do the Shazam movie first, wait to see how that did financially, then proceed forward. So as The Rock says, they're probably going to start shooting the Black Adam movie next year for a release the year after. So we'll probably be sitting our asses down in the theater to watch the Black Adam movie sometime during 2021. He makes like 4 billion films a year, but based on his current filming schedule, he is on track to start shooting that next year. But here's the thing, how are they going to change his story based on what we saw during the Shazam movie? Because there was a Black Adam scene during the Shazam movie. It's just a lot of people may have missed it if they weren't paying attention. But it's when the wizard is giving Billy that magical PowerPoint presentation. Like he gives you flashbacks to Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 where Ego the Living Planet was giving his PowerPoint presentation to the Guardians of the Galaxy. This is what I do. This is how everything works. The wizard Shazam tells Billy about a person, quote unquote, who is Black Adam that they mistakenly gave their power to, who in the movie's version of events had so much darkness in his heart and hatred for mankind that he released the seven deadly sins on them as an act of revenge and it wiped out whole civilizations. So we're talking like 5,000 years ago. In the comics later, Black Adam killed the rest of the magical council except for the wizard. But in the movie's version of events, it was the seven deadly sins that killed the other members of the magical council. So just expect minor changes to the Black Adam origin story during the Black Adam movie. But here's the thing, what they might do is they might also rope in some of the Black Adam story from the recent Rebirth comics because what did they tease in the Shazam post credit scene is that they're going into the Magic Lands, the seven different realms of magic from the Rebirth comics, even though the Shazam family hasn't accidentally quote unquote found that yet. The Mr. Mind Dr. Savannah post credit scene is all about them getting ready to try and take over or co-opt the Magic Lands. So during the comic book version of that story, Black Adam shows up after the Shazam family goes into the Magic Lands to try and learn what's going on. But because they're all little kids, they have no idea why the Magic Lands exist and why they were separated from each other and why there's this barrier preventing them from coming back into our realm. 
So Black Adam shows up in that story and says, Billy, you're an idiot. What have you done? There was a reason why the Magical Council separated all the magical lands from each other. So he's sort of entering the story under the guise that he's trying to help prevent all chaos from breaking loose because his alignment is lawful evil. He has a very strong sense of order. It's just that his idea of order is very, very counter to what all the heroes want. But because that story is still unfolding as we speak, like they're still writing that story, we don't know exactly how it's going to pan out. So we don't know exactly what Black Adam is going to do to try and co-opt the situation and backstab the Shazam family. Usually that's what happens is he'll team up with heroes, but then wind up betraying them in order to take something for himself. So based on what The Rock says that he's cooking in this video, he's going to be doing the Black Adam origin story straight up. Whether or not it's set in present day, we don't know. Then once they develop that character and everybody understands who he is, what his character is like, what the relationships are like, then they put him in a Shazam movie where they face off against each other. But let me know in the comments, what do you want them to do with Black Adam after the Black Adam movie and after they put him in Shazam? Do you just want to see him pop up as a villain all over the DC universe? Because The Rock sounds like he would be down to kick all the rest of the Justice League characters' asses, regardless of who's playing those characters by the time they get to that. There's a whole bunch of Game of Thrones stuff happening this week and Avengers Endgame because they're in the middle of their press tour, so there might be more footage for everything coming really soon. Leave all your requests in the comments below. While you wait for all that, click here to watch the Shazam post credit scene and click here for that brand new Avengers Endgame trailer from the beginning of the movie. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.